Elizabeth Warren returns to New Hampshire as the emerging frontrunner in the first in the nation primary race. The Massachusetts senator spent an idyllic fall afternoon at Dartmouth College in Hanover, working to capture a slice of the all-important campus vote. Right now I'm in between Bernie and Elizabeth Warren. I think really getting to the youth is a big part of it. I know a lot of us aren't super aware. What are you doing to win the student vote? You know, show up. Talk to them, they're engaged, they're ready to go, and to talk about the things that are going to touch their lives. As voters young and old do become more aware of the 2020 contest, Warren is armed with a long list of plans funded by a proposed wealth tax on fortunes over $50 million. But she's taken some heat lately for not directly answering questions about the tax increases necessary to pay for Medicare for All, focusing instead on overall costs. Can you give us a ballpark on where household income wise costs would go up? So I'm going to have a whole plan on this very soon that talks about what the cost of Medicare for all is and how we can pay for it. It'll be out soon and I promise you'll get it. For Senator Warren, the bread and butter remains the stump speech complemented by the selfie line. A chance to show off policy chops finished up with a personal touch. You see that Harvard professor, like the brainy person, sure that relates to one group of people, but then there's also her growing up in a lower middle class family in Oklahoma, and that really connects to a whole separate group of voters. I talk about myself partly because I want people to know who I am all the way down, because I think that tells you something about who I'll be fighting for. But it's also how many people say, yeah, me too. In Hanover, Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.